The global pandemic has turned many economies upside down, but in Angola, the country's agriculture sector is booming. Welcome to Business Angola. We're looking at how one company has pulled off something quite remarkable, creating a farm with foreign export ambitions in just a matter of months and despite the health challenge. Let's take a look. Welcome. We're in Porto Ambuin, on the road that leads to the Caundo farm, where we have cleared more than 500 hectares of land and we have around 400 already in high production. Quite a feat when you consider just a year ago, this vast area of land in Kwanza Sul province, south of Luanda, lay abandoned. Angolan agricultural firm Nova Agrolida recognised the potential of this 10,000 hectare site, an attractive microclimate and rich, fertile soils, too good to resist. This land here is one of the best I've ever seen. After doing analysis, I saw there was no better in Angola. Nova Grolida invested, growing a farm ready for harvesting within six months, and all this during the global pandemic. The COVID-19 problem affects some things, but not in a way that stops us from carrying out what we've been looking forward to doing. We have already harvested melons, watermelons, pumpkins, tomatoes and so on. In a while, we'll also start to harvest mangoes and grapes. We will do much more here. Commercial agriculture is a growing sector as Angola diversifies its economy. The pandemic helping to fuel a rise in national production, also cushioning the country from oil industry shocks. This new farm has been long awaited by the local community. More than 12 entrepreneurs came here. They always quit. The problem was access. They saw our road and gave up. Until one day, a businessman fell from the sky. He said, I'll do the road. That businessman was João, the boss of Nova Grelida, who built this 25-kilometre road with his company's private investment. People woke up and finally realised that Porto Amboin exists because of the new Nova Grow Leader company. Young people already have jobs now, the community already earns something, we have dry areas and this business has made a lot of efforts to bring water to this population. In fact, Kaundu Farm already employs around 400 people and the seeds are now being sown to grow even further, to 1,500 workers. There's huge potential here, according to the project's production manager, who's worked in Brazil's biggest fruit exporting region. Today, Angola's fruit is still unknown, but in the near future, Angola will start to rise because its fruit is so good and in line with international standards. What's missing is a track record, years on the road, people knowing Angolan fruit. And this farm has big ambitions to get the world tasting its produce. The company behind it already supplying Portugal and Spain and targeting markets like Namibia, Italy and Poland to scale up exports. Whoever eats fruit from Angola starts to get a taste for it. We've received feedback through social media networks, Facebook and Instagram. People send a picture on WhatsApp to say they bought a piece of fruit from Angola and it's a beautiful fruit. A farm created and developed against the odds in these difficult times. See you again soon in our next edition of Business Angola.